Hey YouTube, Team Sorcerers here, and welcome to another What If Wednesday episode. Yes, you're once again getting two episodes on the same day. Um, and this one was inspired by um, <coughs> a video that TGS Anime did uh, the other day, which was, Was Bones About to Defeat Bakura? Um, where he was talking about how Bones probably could have won if some moves were played differently, like not wasting his normal summon on Dragon Zombie, and instead playing Cross Clown in defence, which would have changed what Bakura did. So either he would have summoned something uh, to get over the Cross Clown, and then played um, that spell which boosted the Earl of Demise, uh, and then attacked both monsters, therefore it wouldn't have changed anything, or um, or whether he didn't have any monsters and then was put in an awkward position um, where he would have to use use the spell, attack over Great Mammoth of Goldfine or Cross Clown, um, and then end, end up losing Earl of Demise either way, or um, or maybe he would just uh, attack Cross Clown, uh, then set uh, the spell. Oh, why can't I remember the name of it? Um, and then, if Great Mammoth tried to attack Earl of Demise, he then would have played uh, the spell which boosted it, and not much would have changed. Um, <laughs> Or would it? Because um, it depends. Um, uh, it's part to say for sure. But yeah, depending on um, <coughs> what better moves would have been done, it would have been interesting if Bones did beat Bakura and then. That way, um, he would have ended up being uh, a, that one duelist in a series that lost every single duel he played in. Um, so in that scenario, Bones would then go on to the Battle City quarterfinals. Um, and um, Bones would probably either take Dark Necrofear or Destiny Board, depending on which one would have been considered Bakura's rarest card. Because as far as I remember, I don't think it was specified. But regardless, Bones wouldn't take Dark Necrofear, I would think. Because uh, it just doesn't work with his deck, which is pretty much all zombies. I mean, yeah, he has one fiend, which is the cross clown, but but obviously you need three to be able to banish from the graveyard to bring up Doc Necrofear, so maybe he'd take Destiny Board. But in any case, he would go on uh, and end up facing Yugi in the quarterfinals, um, just so the other matchups can stay the same. Um, but yeah, Bones would just get creamed by Yugi. Um, although, I feel like Bones would still put Yugi in some sort of situation which would force Yugi to summon Slifer the Sky Dragon for the first time ever and then attack the game with it. And Bones probably would have been put on a hospital bed, uh, just like Bakura was. Um, oh yeah, and, um, I must also mention that um, when the finalists are gathered, there is of course some hostility towards Bones, Sid and Zygor, uh, which is not surprising considering the trouble they caused in Duelist Kingdom. Um, but yeah, I feel like Sid and Zygor obviously wouldn't be happy 
uh, that bones lost and was trying to recover from Slife of the Sky Dragon's attack and again tried to cause some sort of trouble, not sure what, which Kyber wouldn't take kindly to and would threaten to have them kicked off the blimp, basically. Um, of course, I don't know if there is a way anyone could have left the blimp. Um, surely there would be some sort of escape vehicle if something went wrong, but who knows? Um, but in any case, um, there wouldn't be much purpose for Sid and Zygor just sticking around, really. They'd just be there not doing anything. Oh, that's a thought. Um, with Bakura out of the picture, um, Marek basically lost an ally to help get the Egyptian gods, so... Um, uh, is then forced to just work without him basically and um, there wouldn't be that whole situation where Odeon posing as Marek would claim he's controlling the spirit of the Millennium Ring. Um, uh, but yeah, Bones and not Bones, uh, Sid and Zygor would just be on the sidelines. Um, whether or not they'd be involved in the whole virtual world arc, I'm not quite sure. Um, either they'd be left on the blimp or end up joining the others and sort of be forced to work with them against Noah and the Big Five and Gozoboru Kaiba. So maybe we would get to see them duel. Um, of course, we don't know what decks they'd have. Um, as according to the wiki, they do have decks, but um, Sid's only revealed card was Firewing Pegasus, and Zygor's only revealed card was Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Um, Well, I, I don't know if they would have beaten any of the big five. I mean, there is a chance they would lose their body, but it would probably... They'd probably fall into the same situation that Tristan did, where he lost his, but when he came out of the virtual world, he, he did actually get it back. So, same thing would happen here. Um, but then, after the virtual world arc, they wouldn't really do much else. They'd just be stuck hanging around, not doing anything, really. Of course, uh, if they didn't follow the others into the virtual world, then they'd just be on the blimp with Marek, basically. Maybe trying to steal cards or something, but... The problem with that is that they'd have no way to escape. And maybe there'd be a confrontation with Marek where um, he'd end up sending them to the Shadow Realm. Um, and then, of course, once Marek was defeated, the Pakura would end up coming back. Um, so, really, not much would change, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, you know, Bones would just follow the same path as Bakura uh, regarding the Battle City arc. Um, I mean, Bakura would lose every single duel throughout the original series, um, and there is a possibility that Sid and Zygor would be forced to work together with Yuki and the gang to take on the Big Five, which would have been interesting to see. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.